All right, boys, before the video does start, I got to say, this was uh, one of the first videos that I kind of wrote a lot of things down for, and uh, it kind of went on for 20 minutes, so I do know it's quite long. So uh, I know a lot of people already typically kind of comment before watching the video, so I do recommend watching a few points of my thing. I think I might actually split up the timeline so you can just jump to the parts you want to see. But uh, yeah, if you're going to leave a comment uh, and I kind of mentioned in the video, but you didn't watch it, then I, I will just timestamp it to you to know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, but yeah, this is all speculation. None of it's confirmed, but I do have a lot of evidence a little bit towards... Uh, being a festival unit, so uh, hear me out and uh, enjoy the video. Full counter. Alright lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video and yesterday on a poll I did ask you a lot on my community page What do you lot think about Margaret being the next festival unit because we are getting a new story update very very soon And at that time on the 29th of July when we do get it It would be what the two months since Barn came out So we are kind of due in our festival unit almost and uh, well that next update is only really about her So she kind of already has that chance of being a festival unit but before i go through all the details that i have for you today uh do go with an open mind don't just straight away comment uh just hear what i have to say first and then maybe i change my mind and maybe you have a different perspective on what i have to say here but yeah obviously we are heading towards the end of the new season so season four heading to season five now and uh you know there aren't too many characters uh, to get really obviously the obvious one is uh what's it esther rosa which i know a lot of people are going to comment but lads i said festival not holy war there's a difference i'll go to that later on but yeah let's just jump in okay so what I'm going to do is give a unit percentage like I did in the past few videos now where at the end I give you a percentage of what I think the chance of her being a festival unit is and uh, we've done it in the past with Lonnie Murner and Purgatory Barn but I should say just to uh, get no it's, it's kind of going against me but I'll say it anyway if you haven't watched it I have gotten two of them wrong. I did give Merlin a kind of a, like a low chance, but I did say she could be a festival. And the reason why I gave her a low chance, even though I really wanted her to be a festival unit, was the fact that I never thought we were going to get her in the game entirely. Never mind it's a festival unit. I really thought Netmarble wasn't going to add her to the game. I know it sounds weird now that we've seen her, but at the time, a lot of people think, no, it might just be Q-Sack or Chandler. And uh, yeah, that's why she was a low percentage. But I did say she could be one. The next one was Perfectly Bond. I said it was going to be Green Deanne, mainly because we're jumping ahead in the story mode. Uh, we just got Arthur, so I thought the next one could be Deanne. And then with the leak to spoil, we got uh, Esterosa, so I thought he was going to come after, which he didn't come after Barn. We're going to go a little bit more open mind this time around, but Barn, I mean, every time a new... Every time you try and predict a character, Barn's always brought up every single time. And uh, this time, they happen to be right. Barn really did come really early in the story mode. Like, uh, most of his kit, no, it, all of his kit is based on the new season. It's a new season character. People who actually saw the Barn gameplay in my comments were saying, Oh, damn, I didn't know Barn was a demon. I didn't know Barn had his powers. Because you would have been spoiled. At the time when he came out on JP, we didn't even have the dub version of um, the, the new season. So, if you're not watching the show illegally... You would have been spoiled if you not read the manga. So, Barn shouldn't have came. I mean, I know why he came because it was um the, it was the anniversary, so it made sense a little bit, and there was a reason. But uh, yeah, so just bear in mind, we're not really jumping that far in the future. We're still gonna go by the current chapters. It's just Barn really was an exception, and uh, yeah, we're just go through that really so in a few days time we will see the summer rocks in shin banner on jp and the reason why we know this is true and why it's coming literally in a few days time is because we have gotten leaks but also the fact that it is july and uh, in july we can only get two banners that is the eighth and also 22nd a little bit too late for um for summertime units they're gonna release it on the eighth uh because it just makes sense the next update date is the 22nd we are gonna be getting a new story banner story character it's been confirmed because you have confirmed with the ragnarok update we are going to be getting a new story mode content every month but it's going to rotate between the ragnarok story and also the 70s story so we just got ragnarok last month or what two weeks ago now because um it was the end of uh june so at the end of july we're going to get a story mode update which does consist of the story between margaret so that's uh just something to point out, boys. So it is almost confirmed we'll be getting a new story update. But why does that make it a festival? Now, the reason why is because with the recent festival units, I think almost all of them, but from my memory, I do know it's for Wing King, for Eskinor, and uh, for Purgatory Barn. And uh, yeah, I think that I think that was... Yeah, and Lottie Murder too. Yeah, those four characters from my actual memory because I started playing JP then. Whenever they got released, their story update came along with it. So we got the one fight. We got the one. We got Wing King. We got his like little training cave thing. We got Lolly Merlin, which... First got revealed by Chandler. We got her. And then Purgatory Barn was the only exception. But in that chapter, we do see Purgatory Barn go to Purgatory, which was their reason to add him. And I kind of same thing for Arthur as well. Arthur doesn't really show up for another two chapters, but he is in the game already. And um, that may be because they want to get him out earlier. So, you know, we're for Barn. And also as well, he um, does show up in the story, but 
doesn't get Excalibur, so that was probably their reasoning. But yeah, every normal festival banner, not Holy War, every normal festival banner so far has been released with a story update. So we don't get a festival this time around. That means we have to wait two more months, so three months from now, basically, to get another festival unit. That's a, a very long time to wait. Now, I should say there's a possibility they actually do a normal update, like what he did with Zeldris, and just add someone like Diane and Gopher who don't really show up in the story mode and could just be in festivals at any time in the, at any time really so uh yeah that's kind of why I'm leading towards Margaret being a festival unit because her story mode update is coming and it's just out oh, I don't know boys okay so what I did was I went back and looked at the actual recent chapters we just got and I kind of to put in terms of how much chapters we get in terms of manga in terms of actual story updates we get for grand cross it's around five to six chapters each update now it could be a little bit more could be like getting ragged right now so maybe you have more time to work on the actual uh, i guess scenes but it's typically like i did say around five to six chapters and if you look at the current chapter we're on right now uh it's where what many of us ends to 70s or 70 sins and then fights esteros and zeldris now in between that in between that story arc, we do get two chapters in the manga, which is the transformation of Lucia Margaret, where Margaret, or well, I guess Lucia, does take over Margaret's body. So why did you skip that? One, because it makes sense to story mode content. We just see Medios end the sins. You want to follow where he goes afterwards, so it makes sense to story to get that scene. But in also because well. If we are going to be getting Margaret as a festival unit, like Lolly Merlin, like the one, you want to see a transformation as part of the update where she does come. So that's why that they probably skipped that to save for the next update. So with the fact that we know do know now that the chapters do last typically around five to six chapters, we can now predict what the story is going to cover next update. So it will cover the Lidusio transformation, and it will go all the way into probably the stigma alliance the one where uh, elizabeth and uh, goddess margaret do like the little cross to show their alliance so that will where it leads up to which means if we're going to get a festival unit regardless if it's not margaret it's going to be someone in that current chapter which um to be fair lads it's not too much if anything is literally just zeldris lolly merlin what uh margaret and then Chandler a little bit they cover a little bit of a story but uh they're definitely gonna save demon channel for a festival unit so it really can only be margaret and uh, i'll go to a little more detail later on about the fight but do remember the fact that we do have two different festivals in the game currently and uh, there is a pattern of release where they always do a festival then a holy war and you may be asking wait didn't we just get Surely Esteros is next, right? We, we didn't get Holy War, but we did. We actually got a uh, Purgatory Bomb Banner, and then we got Ozone Hawk, which had the Holy War characters on it, which does confirm we're not going to get a Holy War Banner. Now, the reason why they did this was because, well, Esterosa is likely to be the next Holy War character, but he's a little bit too far away. But the thing is, they do have to release the actual Holy War Banners kind of frequently, so you do have a chance to pull the old units like Zeldris and obviously a, a Mediolus. But because we're not going to get one, they said, okay, lads, no Holy War festivals this time around, but here you go, on Ozone Hawk Banner, we have thrown in uh was it assault melee and also zeldris so even though there's no festival this time around you still can some of the units which uh does confirm well the next festival will be the same pattern again we're going to get a normal festival and then lead on to the holy war which might be esterosa we will get a story update and if we don't get a festival part of the update that does mean we will not likely to get a festival unit with the patterns we've seen so far until two months later which is a very very long time right we've could have gotten two festivals in that time so i think there's a little disclaimer here for the fact this could happen and it's gonna be the same situation as zeldris and uh chandler really when they got released is um what we do is we get a 70s banner which is like well i guess a 70s sin character banner or whatever you want to call it a festival where we get go for or Deanne, because well if you look at the next story chapter so right now in the story mode where i guess but margaret does turn into goddess margaret all the way into the end of the new season or not the new season the current season we're on right now right so the end of season four there's no one really important we've we've, we've gone for everyone already yes diane and gofar do take part in the holy war battle but nothing to really make them a festival unit so the really the biggest characters part of this like next few updates so the next like few months of story content is really esther rosa margaret and also um the sit that was the archangels but the archangels are the, in the other forms of bodies where it's uh, i forgot what the names were but you can see on screen now uh these two characters are definitely not poor enough to be a festival unit where let's go over the i guess topic of margaret being important or being hype unit so people like to bring up the fact that oh margaret isn't a hype unit but then you know we look at zeldris i mean we look at Lonnie Merlin, which I know I was hyped for it, but a lot of people, if you watch people's reactions, and uh, I mean, it did help that the fact that Shoku's were kind of bad as well, but no one was hyped for Lonnie Merlin. Same for Elizabeth. I mean, you go look at negative videos during the actual release of Goddess Elizabeth on the one year anniversary. Everyone was disappointed, like, oh, bro, this must be 
the part two of the festival must be a banging character we're getting goddess elizabeth so then the idea of recent hype character is uh not really important here now you gotta remember as well this isn't a celebration for like a two year anniversary so that's why we got bond because that is a hype character so just getting a festival throughout the year you know, they don't have to be, they don't have to be crazy hype, I think Goddess Margaret is hype, but that's kind of subjective really, but yeah, it's, it's not part of a massive celebration, so I think we could just get Margaret as an actual festival unit. Now, going over the importance really, um, you lot might not think this, but she, she really is important, I, I don't want people saying she's not important, she is the leader of Sigma, she's the, you know, leader of the goddesses, she's Leducio, right, and the, well, Leducio's in her body, but during, I guess, the next few chapters really of like the story update for like the or season four she plays a massive role but also as well in the next chapter or i guess uh, season five content no spoilers here don't worry but this is in the trailer so i will just show this trailer screenshot here is that uh, you do see a massive fight between margaret Eskinor and merlin versus demon Chandler, demon q sack and also zeldris now this is a massive massive fight in the manga and even the series as well goes on for a few episodes and obviously something massive gets revealed here no spoilers don't worry but as you can see like I mentioned already, Demon Channel and Demon Cusack are likely to be festival units, so that's uh, something to point out. That Zeldris you do see will be Omnis Nebula Zeldris, which is likely to be another new festival unit. I mean, it's, it's almost the best Zeldris, basically. And then you do see on the other team, you do have Merlin, which isn't a festival unit. Well, I mean, we have Kid Merlin, Lolly Merlin. But uh, the purple just Merlin, I do think could be a new Merlin, especially what she does in the actual uh, fight. And then Escanor. He does turn into the one during a fight, so you could argue that is just the one Escanor. Or we could get another the one Escanor, because he does do different moves. But I also it could be just a blue Escanor. But my point here is the fact that all of the characters here, apart from Margaret, are basically festivals. I mean, bro, like, how can you say she's not a festival unit? She's so important. And another thing to point out, too, uh, the current festival Zelda we do have in-game right now, the green one, yes, Execution Zelda's. His ultimate is the move he used against Goddess Margaret. So why would you make Zelda's a festival unit where, where his main, basically, usage in the story mode was using one move against Goddess Margaret? So if you're going to have a massive fight between festival units and then also make a festival Zelda's just because he used one move against Goddess Margaret... I mean, bro, she's so important. To say she's not important is really just wrong. Now, could she still be a part three character? Yes, but just trying to kind of lean towards the her being a festival here, right? And another thing I want to point out is uh, festivals are always special version of units. Now, granted, we are kind of late into the story mode where, you know, you're only going to really get special versions of characters. But if you look at the festival, like previous festivals, you have Lost Fame Mediodis, The One Eskino, Small Wing King, Purgatory Bond, Lordy Merlin. You get my point, right? So... To get Margaret as a festival unit wouldn't happen. But if it's Goddess Margaret, yes, it is. Because while it is a special version of not only Margaret, but the Duciel. And I don't really want to spoil anything. But if you know what happens in Season 5, you know, this is uh, kind of the biggest character for both Margaret and the Duciel. So, like, if they're ever going to do a festival unit of either Margaret, which they would never do that, or the Duciel, which they could do in the future, I think this would be the best time to do it. Because it's a special version of both characters, which, once again, fits the bill of being a festival unit. Now, I kind of bring the question, would it be good to be a festival unit? I'd say no, because uh, she's likely she'll have a grace. Now, I did mention before that... Margaret, what he could do, and I did it in my prediction video, is that the fact that he could make it so it's the same grace as, you know, Leducio, because it is still Leducio in there, right? But if it's a festival, or hell, even if they really want to do it, they could do it on a normal SSR, right? Then uh, they could change it. But I think if you look at what they've done already, the fact that they, uh, when they made Festival Zeldris, yes, the new one, they actually changed his commandment. Even though it's the same thing, it is a different commandment. So just imagine now you have Festival Goddess Margaret in game. And they both have the same Grace name, which is the like uh, Grace of Flash. Then you would see it would be a little bit different because they could change it. So I think just the fact alone that he done that audio Zeldris, I think it's highly likely that her being a festival unit could make that Grace somewhat good, right? And uh, going on to things, uh, Net Marvel they love Milk in the play base. Really, uh, we saw this with Barn or the fact they gave her Rupture uh, being six six. So given a festival unit a grace is the best way net marvel can just milk to guarantee someone's going to six six that character now i do think we could see this in the future with uh you know mayo no spoilers of course but right now because currently you know mayo is still kind of further away i think we'll start seeing him somewhat nice nah, it's, 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 it'll be a minute bro it'll be a minute like we'll probably have like three four festivals by then so don't expect mayo anytime soon but you know there is going to be at one point a festival character with a grace. So I do think this could be the start of, you know, just Leducio doing it first. Okay, so I went over my, all my points so far to kind of wrap up a little bit to kind of debunk some theories people have. Uh, just my, I guess, opinions here is, uh, well, someone 
sometimes brings up, well, festivals are only for sins. So, my argument here would be, no, it's not. The reason why, because that would imply the Holy War is only for commandments, which, yes, we've only seen, you know, Zelda's and Melios, which, I mean, Melios in a commandment, but you can, he's the leader of the Ten Commandments, so that's why, right? But then I would say, no, it's probably wrong, because, well, we're going to get Festival Cusack and Chandler, which will be the demon form. And there's no way I've seen it, Marble, not making these two festival units, because, like, they, I mean, they clearly skipped Demon Chandler for a reason, right? If they want to release him, they could do it anytime soon. But, uh, yes, that's definitely not going to happen. Uh, but, yeah, currently right now in the story arcs, we've just seen the sins get power up you know you had the fight with uh well first festival unit so you had the fight skinny king got his power up and so did dian with the training with uh draw with gloxenia then you had the awakening of assault medios and obviously the one then you go and barn go to purgatory see lordy merlin you see all the sins got power ups we're kind of through that now and we're now on to the holy war stuff which is it's kind of arthur goddess margaret you know um what's it uh holy war esterosa and uh well we have some leaks from the actual data mine build from, or I guess the beta build with uh, from Regents. And he did confirm that, well, at some point they did plan Arthur to be a festival unit. So obviously the developer build is when they're making the characters, still trying to finalize what they want to do and stuff like that. And at one point he was planned to be a festival unit. So if Netmarble had the notion of like, oh, only sins are festivals, then why would he plan him to be a festival unit? Now, he could have been wrong, but I think a little bit of evidence is actually in-game right now. If you go to the Hawk uh, Sacred Treasure Shop, you will notice that you have uh, free outfits, essentially, right? Kind of free, because you can get the currency to do it. But you have, like, their chef outfits, which is for... Who is it? Escanor, which is the Durag one. You have Barn, Zeldris, and Arthur. Pretty strange for them to have three festival units in Arthur. Why would he do it just for Arthur? Now, I do think if they was planned to release Arthur as a festival unit, they would need to make this skin. And uh, like we saw with the actual fan art contest, skins take time to make. So from the get-go, they clearly planned Arthur to be a festival unit. And then they have to say, okay, lads, we have to make a skin for him. Here's this plan. Make this skin for him now. But then something changed in like the late game where they said, okay, let's uh, not make him festival. Let's uh, make Barn, for example. And then uh, they still had that skin planned. So they still released it as a part of the Hawk Treasure uh, Shop, whatever. And uh, that's why you can buy that skin. So that's why I still think that Sins ain't just exclusive to me festivals. I think we still can get other characters. And with the recent leaks, like we saw from Regents, he had leaked that Goddess Margaret is coming, but it didn't put festival. But I think that's not like a deconfirmation because, well, he didn't put festival next to you. Holy War Esterosa, it's just Demon Clang and it's just Esterosa there, so uh, either Esterosa is not a festival unit, it's just more character, and same here for Margaret, but I do think the fact that we do know these two characters come in, and that at some point they could just be planned to be a festival unit. Alright, so with all that being said, um, who I think the next festival unit is, it's probably Grey Road, boys, yes. At the end of the last chapter, you do see Grey Road tease a little bit, so he, oh, oh no, I'm joking, it's a she, I almost said he, uh, but yeah, obviously I'm joking him here, but uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of my long explanation, obviously a lot the stuff I thought about for this video and obviously the stuff I had said I had proven with like at least a little bit of evidence a little bit but obviously I could be you could argue I'm just stretching a little bit I'm, I'm just kind of connecting to dots where that don't really lead anything uh but if it happens or not who knows but I I think it's possible just the fact that everything's kind of connecting here story mode content chapters festival of timing it's just all adding up uh what happened who knows but we will see probably the week before because uh if it is a festival, then we might get a free banner. So we'll see one in two weeks' time, basically, if we do get an actual free banner to lead them to the next festival. And if it is, then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of excited now. Uh, but, yeah, do let me know your opinions here. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd say the percentage of her being a festival unit is around 70%, in my opinion. I can't say outright 100% because there's still some things leading that, oh, you know, they could just make her a normal character. But who will, who will be the festival unit, right? It's, it's just... It's nothing really too crazy. So, yeah, like I mentioned, go for the end. Don't really do anything atop the next season. So, if they were to be a fest based on them, then they will come at any point. So, I can't really predict that. But I do know on the 29th, we will be getting Margaret. It only makes it like, how can we get a festival Diana go for on the 29th when the story update is only about? Margaret, it doesn't really make too much sense. So, uh, yeah, to finally wrap up about Isarosa, uh, like I mentioned, they did skip a Holy War because we did get Oz and Hawk, which had the Holy War characters on it, which uh, is lightly. And uh, in two chapters, when we do get the chapter where you verse, uh, was it Escalabo, when he gets his, when he first actually gets it, uh, you do see at one point, if they want to like fill it in a little bit, Galand does get his commandment taken by uh, Isarosa, which, uh, like, if we use the same excuse for Barn, he does start collecting to moments so you could argue like purgatory barn where he went to purgatory this is the start of his transformation into holy war esterosa or assault esterosa whatever you want to call him so i think we could see the next holy war character being esterosa if they want to just jump cut towards that really 
But yeah, that is uh, my theory. So do let me know in the comments. I know the video is very long, but like it has to be said, boys. I went a lot of detail. I kind of like went through almost everything. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm right. I mean, I'll be a little bit ashamed to record a 20 minute video and be wrong, right? Uh, but yeah, that's the fun part, really. Just trying to speculate and see what people are saying because uh, you had some fun talking to you lot yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, to end off, we're not getting the L. I mean, if it happens, it happens, right? But uh, Mayel is a little bit too far away. I know Barnes far away as well, but at least there was an excuse to add Barnes. He actually did go to Purgatory. And it was a two-year anniversary. So just to get Mayel a part of a random update where he's not, you know, teased at all. And we already had the fact that Estos is coming. It's nice. It's not gonna happen. Uh so yeah, boys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully, if you watched it all throughout, thank you, I guess. But uh yeah, um peace.